Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today we are going to be making chocolate chip cookies. Before we start the video though, I wanted to talk to you guys and let you know that I appreciate the whole the feedback that I've been getting and I encourage lots and lots more. If you guys have any video ideas or any comments of things I could do differently, things that you want to see done differently, please comment below and let me know. Hit up my Facebook, hit up my Instagram, hit up my Twitter, Snapchat, anything. Just let me know what you guys want to see and let me know what I can improve on. And let's get this video started. All right, you guys, so I have all my ingredients. We are doing this downstairs today just because it's a little easier. I'm able to talk a little louder and I won't have nosy people everywhere. So I'm going to adjust this back, you guys. I apologize. Okay, sorry you guys, there's some stuff on my teaspoons. <clears throat> so, we are going to start with our sugar and our brown sugar. Now when you use brown sugar in a recipe, it makes it a little bit softer overall. So if you guys ever want something to be creamier or softer, definitely use brown sugar as well in your recipe. Um, if you follow the recipe that only calls for white sugar, take about a quarter cup off of what they normally say and change that into brown sugar. You can add more or less, just depending on what you want as a flavor. So here we have a half a cup white sugar. We're going to pour that in our stand mixer. Then we are going to take a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. Any brown sugar will work. I like using light brown sugar. Um, dark brown sugar just gives it more of a um, a deeper taste, I guess you could say. I don't really know how to describe it exactly. But it gives it a little bit of a different taste, you guys. If you have a little bit more, like, it flakes out and it goes down to the bottom, that's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Just make sure it's nice and packed in there so you can get your full amount. So we just added that. Now we are going to add our butter. Now our butter is nearly melted, not completely melted, but nearly melted. So we're going to have to toss that in there. I will be right back, you guys. I forgot a spatula. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. I forgot a spatula. Um, you want to make sure you get all the butter in there. So now we are going to go ahead and cream this all together. Um, I'll get you guys a better shot as soon as that is all creamed.
So there we go, you guys. It's all nice and cream together. Like I said, I'm working on getting better lighting for you guys. I do apologize. Oh, sorry. I always like to double check, scrape my sides down, make sure everything's incorporated. Just to make sure nothing got stuck to the bottom or anything like that. Now you guys can use an electric mixer. You don't have to use a stand mixer. I just happen to have one, so I like using it. <laughs> okay, you guys. So next we are going to add our egg, which of course is at room temperature. We just need one egg, uh, medium to large. Okay, and then the vanilla. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. You can add more or less. Sometimes I add a little bit more, just for flavor, just depending. Just be careful how much you add because this vanilla is a really, really strong flavor and you don't want to overbear it. So today we're going to make soft chocolate chip cookies. So you want to make sure you uh, mix your egg on a low speed so it doesn't get over whipped. Okay, so that's just incorporated, you guys. We're going to go ahead and scrape down again. Scrape the bottom just to make sure. And if you still see a little bit of white or a little bit of yolk, that's fine. You still have to mix with the flour and everything like that, so don't worry. Now we're going to go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure you guys use baking soda, not baking powder, because otherwise your cookies will not come out as cookies. <laughs> They'll be more like shortbread. Now we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. You can add more or less depending on how you want it to taste. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of flour. All purpose flour is the best to use just because you don't have to worry about it rising or anything like that. So this is a half a cup. Go ahead and plop that in there. And then a whole cup, pop that down there. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and mix that just until it starts to form crumbs. Okay, so now we got our crumbs forming. As you can see, it's very crummy but there's still a lot of flour go ahead and scrape all that off 
And we'll finish mixing the rest with our hands and our spatula. You want to try to get as much of it off as you can, just because you don't really want to lose any ingredients. So now we will go ahead and mix the rest of it in. You can mix it with your hands, you can mix it with a spatula, however you wish. Sometimes I don't like getting my hands dirty, so I just mix it with my spatula instead. So now you're going to form it into a ball. It will feel a little, um, not necessarily wet, but kind of moist, very, very soft, and that's how you want it to be. So it should form into one large ball, as you guys can see here. Looks nice, beautiful, mixed. I'm just kind of making sure everything is well mixed together. Now we have our nice pretty ball. Now we're going to go ahead and incorporate our chocolate chips. Today I am using C's. Can you guys see that? I know there's a bit of a glare. C's candies, milk chocolate chips. Um, so I heard that they don't melt like Nestle's do, but we will find out. So these are more of like chocolate chunks than chocolate chips, but that's fine. I'm going to be using 8 ounces today. You can use whatever chocolate chips you want. You can use chocolate chunks, you can use dark chocolate, whatever you guys want. I always take a little bit out because my best friend does not like chocolate very much. So I take a little bit out for her to make her a couple without chips. So we're going to go ahead and take this off the mixer to give us just a little bit more stability with our hands. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and kind of fold those in with our hands. These are going to be very chocolatey chocolate chip. tougher to mix in than anticipated you guys <laughs>
Okay, guys, so there you go. You can see it's nice chocolatey. I'm going to go grab our pans, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so now we have our cookie sheet here, and we are going to go ahead. I like to use parchment paper on my cookie sheets. Sorry, you guys. Just because it makes it a little easier to pull off the cookies. They don't get stuck. Um, they tend not to burn, anything like that. So, yeah, makes it a little easier overall. So, you're just going to take, some people do a tablespoon. Um, I just like to take a little chunk, roll it into a ball, pop it right down. Now, this recipe should give you about 9 to 12 cookies, just depending on the size you make them. And also depending on like your chocolate chips, stuff like that, you guys.
right, you guys, so I have... Sorry. <laughs> I have all the cookies rolled out. <clears throat> they are on the cookie sheets. Our oven has been preheating to 350 degrees. We're going to go pop those in for about nine minutes, and I'll see you then. All right, you guys, so this is what the cookies look like. The other ones are still in the oven. Let's go ahead and crack one of these open, see what they look like on the inside. They are nice and soft. The chips did not melt, which is really great. And they're really good, you guys. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and share. Leave your comments down below. I will include the recipe in the description. You guys have a wonderful day. Remember, you are loved if no one else has told you. Help somebody else smile. And have a great day. You guys are doing a great job.